Another um, thing I really wanted to talk to you about, which I've been fascinated with lately, I'm reading a book all about it right now, um, is DARPA. Oh, yeah. I'm reading the Pentagon oh. Brain book right now. Yeah. I'm about halfway through it. Right. Um, I had these two guys on here who I think you had on your show as well um, about six months ago. Um, one of the guys' name was Len Baer, and the other guy's mm -hmm. name was uh, he was a Harvard, uh, a Harvard graduate who was recruited to a think tank to work on some stuff for DARPA. And they were talking about this directed energy stuff. Yeah. And this guy was claiming, you know, it was, he was, he had this Russian accent, which was funny. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Len? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Len. And, uh, you know, he was claiming that he was being actively targeted by some sort of directed energy weapons that right. are coming from satellites or right. something. You know, not something that somebody's hanging out in front of his house, like pointing something at him, but it's some sort of like switch that's going off in his, in his head. Yes. But he had no, there was no, like, he has no history of working with any government. He worked, I forgot what he did, but he was, he like was a, a medical doctor. He was a medical doctor, right. He was like a hormone and doctor. And he's a, he's a uh, safety inspector for a food company now. Right, mm -hmm. right. So, like, there was no plausible reason why right. any, anyone would be targeting him. Um, you talked to him. Yeah. What did you make of that stuff? And do you think that's anything that you think is what they think it is? I have kind of a history on this issue. Um, because I'm out there as a CIA whistleblower, I had attract a lot of people who have this complaint. Mm -hmm. I happened to be on contract with the American Psychological Association back in 2015. And we were at lunch one day and I said, hey guys, it was like a dozen psychologists. I said, guys, I got a question for you. Not a single day goes by that I don't get at least one email from somebody saying that the government is beaming some sort of waves at them and it's painful and it's making them, you know, vomit and they have uh, uh, dizziness and whatever. Mm -hmm. And I said, does any of this make sense to you? And they looked at each other and, and started laughing. And one of them said, this is a very common form of mental illness. Um, they have found in their studies that when people feel overwhelmed, their brains default to the most easily explained reason. And that is um, a dark outside force. Well, that's why everybody blames the CIA. Now people know more about DARPA. They're talking about DARPA. But then... I talked to a New York Times reporter about this. And he said, you know, so many people are quick to blame mental illness. But he said in his research, he found that there are some people who are just incredibly sensitive to the millions of waves that are flying through the air at any given time. Cell phones, radar guns, uh, you know, any, anything. If we could see the waves, we wouldn't even be able to see each other. There are so many of them. Right. Right? Um, and then I talked to Bill Binney, who used to be the number four at NSA. He was the chief... Bill Binney. Chief okay. technology officer at NSA. And I said, Bill, is this mental illness or is this like sensitivity to microwaves or what is this? And he said, I think that there's science behind it. I think that that DARPA is doing something that we don't fully understand. He said, we do know that DARPA is working on these, not just next generation battlefield weapons, but two generations battlefield weapons, lasers that will temporarily blind you so that we don't have to kill you, mm -hmm. but it'll take you off the battlefield. Crowd control. Crowd control is a perfect example, yes. He said, we, we don't know if it's DARPA that's doing this kind of thing. But, he said, I can tell you how you can tell who is insane and who's not. Mm -hmm. Ask them if the waves follow them when they travel. He said, there is no technology to beam this stuff from satellites. It's not possible. No. No. But he says... If it just happens when they're at a certain location, if it just happens when they're at home, or it just happens when they're at work, that's a problem. It's either a sensitivity or somebody's doing something to them. 
But if it happens like everywhere they go, or they went to their brother's house and it happened there, and then they checked into a hotel because they thought they were going crazy, it happened there. No, that, that's a mental illness. Interesting. Yeah. That's what this guy Len was saying. It was happening to him everywhere. So it yeah. happened to him on the airport on the way here. Yeah. Well, but it doesn't happen to anybody else around him. Right. That doesn't make any sense. Right. This guy sent me, the, I, the, a guy sent me an email one time and he said this was happening to him. And I said, well, here's a link to this New York Times article on wave sensitivity. Here's a, an article from the website of the American Psychological Association saying, you know, maybe you, you should see a therapist. Mm -hmm. And then he sends me back um, a, uh, an x-ray. Like he had scanned an x-ray and attached it. And it clearly had a chip like in the head. And I'm like, no way. So I did a reverse search on Google. And it's just out there. Like, it's a Google image. Yeah, it's a Google image. Somebody Jeez. planted it on the internet and it, it's used 100,000 times. Mm. So I'm like, look, sorry. If you're not going to be honest, there's nothing I can do to help you. Mm -hmm. But no, I said, this, the, the CIA doesn't give a shit about you. They're not using you as an experiment. They're not beaming waves at your head to see what happens. If they were going to do that, and I don't mm. think that they are, because that, that wouldn't be the CIA. It would be DARPA and NSA. But it wouldn't be the CIA. Yeah, they, they, they might use it once it's finally developed as a weapon. But in terms of experimentation, that's got DARPA written all over it. And NSA? And NSA. Mm -hmm. Why NSA? Because NSA is the one that deals in the signaling all the time. Like, mm -hmm. for example, NSA, the Pentagon in general and NSA are the ones that control all those satellites. So if, if we did have the technology to use satellites to beam these waves at people... NSA would at least know about it. Mm. DARPA would have been the one to develop it. Right. Um, Let me add one other thing. There's a county in far western Virginia, Virginia yes. Hi Highland County. He mentioned this. I told him about Highland oh, County. Oh, did you really? Yeah, because there are there's an incredibly sensitive uh, military listening site there with these enormous dishes. They're like you know five stories tall mm -hmm. right all plant all pointed up at the sky trying to pick up signals from other galaxies and mm -hmm. stuff well because it's so sensitive i don't mean in a classified way i mean like in a in a technological way um they um they forbid any outside electronics right there are no cell phones no cell phone towers the houses in this county nobody lives out there it's just farms right. but uh they don't even have cable tv Right? No dish network, no nothing. Right. Well, a lot of people who have this, or who have exhibited this sensitivity, when they go there, it ends. That's why I think a lot of this is, I, I think they're genuinely suffering. And I think they really genuinely believe that they're being targeted. Mm. But I think it's that they're sensitive to cell phone signals and radio signals and TV and walkie talkies and all the other crap that's flying through the air right now. Mm.